Round 10 of the NASCAR Cup Series sees the teams head to Talladega Super Speedway for the GEICO 500. The last time the teams were there was in October last year, and one team dominated, Stuart Haas Racing. I think what happened at Talladega was, was tremendous. Um, you know, it was well planned, it played out the way it was supposed to. We had really fast race cars, we were able to qualify up front. It all starts at the shop, obviously building really good, fast speedway cars and consistent ones that are the same across the board. We had good energy in practice, we had good speed in practice, all those things, and then little did we know that we'd all qualify so well. I mean, we figured we'd be pretty good, but we didn't expect to be as good as we were, and uh, it was quite surprising and refreshing having us all start up front there. Boogity, boogity, boogity! Let's go racing at this big old Talladega racetrack, boys! With all four cars starting up front, SHR produced a masterclass in drafting and teamwork to ensure all four could progress in last year's playoffs. Right from the drop of the green flag, we had a plan to work together. We, we knew uh, the position that we were in in the playoffs. It was important for all four of our cars to work together to gain as many points as we could. We went into the race with a strategy of let's do everything we can to work together and try and finish one, two, three, four. We saw a lot of communication with Stuart Haas teams all working together to get in line on the front. You see them. You got to work as a team. You got to work together. And when you do, you can reap the benefits. Um, we proved that at Talladega. When the tires started going away, cars started losing a little bit of grip, the SHR boys really started coming on and taking care of business. Kevin Harvick dives to the bottom. And once again, Stuart Haas racing falling into line. To have four cars from one organization be able to just literally pull away from the field. That's never happened in a restrictor plate race. The goal was to try to get them together like that. But when they saw the results of how they were able to sit there and work together and, and actually pull away and separate themselves from the field, they really locked in on that concept. What an incredibly dominant performance we've seen from Stuart Haas Racing through the first two stages. The execution and the cooperation amongst the four teams, the crew chiefs communicating with one another over radios and kind of talking about our strategy together and being all in it together in one. You know, if we were going to make a decision, it was for the benefit of all four teams, not just one. You can sit back and look at what's the perfect weekend. Um, you know, that, that showed off a lot of different aspects of not just our teams, but the company as a whole and kind of personified the way they've all been working together. Two years ago, our drivers never would have done that, right? They're all out for themselves and this, that, and the other. One car would be a little better than the other, and we just never could get together and draft together and dominate a race like that. I think it proved it to the drivers and the crew chiefs again. This is the mentality, this is the direction that we need to stay in because we can go and dominate all these races like this. Having obliterated the opposition, crashes led to overtime that left two of the cars out of fuel, but a 1-2 finish still meant a near-perfect day. 41's out of gas! Alvarola to the lead! Does he have enough gas to get to the finish line? Eric Alvarola is going to win in Talladega! In the end, it all shuffled out, and Eric won the race, thank God. Uh, because, you know, we pitted for gas and had all kinds of things go wrong at the end of the race. But the parts that we controlled was just an absolutely perfectly executed plan. Whether you were first or fourth, you were still in a better position than being in the middle of that pack. And we took our fast cars and, and were able to bring home a win for, for Stuart Haas and get Eric to victory lane. This was an incredible race. The four of us were so committed to each other and so organized. And I, I know but the field couldn't touch us. It was us against the field. And uh, what an impressive run by Stuart Haas Racing. It's something that in, in my NASCAR career, since I've been involved, I've never seen what happened at, at Talladega happen. Those days are very, very few and far between, and you cherish those moments when you see them happening.